In this video, I want to show you how we can download census data and prepare it for inclusion in our GIS. Here I am on the main Census Bureau web page. First thing you'll do is go to the top menu, Data, and select American Fact Finder. From here, you'll select Advanced Search, Show Me All. The first thing I like to do is select the geographies that I'll be working in. In this case, I want to get census data that's been aggregated to the census tract level. Go ahead and select Census Track. It'll ask you which state, Colorado. It'll ask you if you want to select a county, but in this case, I actually want to select data for all census tracts within Colorado. It's okay if I'm actually downloading more data than I'll actually need in my map. When I'm done adding that to my selection, I can close that window. And now I'll go to the Topics menu and select Data Set. And here you can select the data set you want to work with. In my case, I want to use the 2012 ACS five-year estimates. Go ahead and close that. And here you can see the variables that you have access to. In my case, I'm going to look at poverty status in the past 12 months. So I'm going to check that box. I'm also going to go to page four here, and I'm going to select Hispanic or Latino origin by race. Once you've selected your variables, go ahead and select download. And the Census Bureau limits you to 10 selections. Go ahead and hit OK. It may take a little while for it to build your file. When it's ready, click Download, and it'll download into a zip file. When it's ready, go ahead and open up that zip file. And what you'll notice is that I've got four different CSV files in here, two for each selection I made. Here's the poverty variable, and here's the race and ethnicity variable. Now, the larger of the files is the actual data. The smaller of the files is the metadata, or a description of what each of the variable names is, and you'll see that in a second. So I'm going to start with the poverty data. I'm going to go ahead and open the data itself. And you can see that there's some sort of nonsensical variable names here. So now I'm going to open up the metadata at the same time, to view them simultaneously, simply go to View, click on View Side by Side, and deselect Synchronous Scrolling. Now on the top, here's the metadata. And again, if I'm going to expand this first column, simply put the cursor between A and B and double click. And you can see the full variable name and what each one stands for. And you can see that this first one is simply the total estimate of the population for whom the poverty status is determined. They're poor or they're not, but we know their status. And then we see here in row six, the number of those who are below poverty level. Now at the bottom, one of the first things I like to do is expand the column widths here so I can see the full variable names. The way I do that is simply click on A and highlight that whole column. And then holding down the shift key, I hit end. Continuing to hold down the shift key, I hit my right arrow and it highlights all of the columns. And now I can simply right click Check column width. Let's set that to 15. Now I can see the full variable names. At this point, what you want to do is sort of go back and forth between the metadata and your actual data and rename the variables of interest. In this case, I'm not actually going to be using this first GeoID, so I'm just going to ignore it for now. Here I'm going to be using this GeoID 2 when I want to join this census data to my census tract shapefile in GIS because it also has a um, similar GeoID uh, number, otherwise known as FIPS. So in this case, I'm going to call this join ID. Scroll across. Here I see HC01 EST VC01. I can see that that's, again, the poverty, total number of people we know the poverty status of. So I'm going to call that POV stat. Then we get the margin of error. You can ignore that and then move over to the estimate for the number of people who are below poverty. I'm going to call that POV below. Now notice when I get to the HC03 EST VC01, that's actually the percentage already calculated for me. I'm just going to go ahead and rename that P POV. Now I may also want a variable on the percentage of the population of children below 
poverty. So here at HC01 EST VCO3, we have the total number of the population that is below 18 years of age. So I'll call that under 18. Tab over a little bit. Here I'm at HC02 EST VC03. That's the number of children below poverty. I'm going to call that kid below. And then at HC03 EST VC03, that's the actual percentage of children. I'm going to call that PKID POV. Okay, let's say that that's the, all the variables that I'm interested in this particular data set. What I'm going to do now is let me just go ahead and click on this top one and I'm going to close it. We don't need to save. And now I can clean up my data here. I'm going to get rid of these excess rows. So I'm going to highlight column A because I don't really need that one. And then I'm going to hold down the control key as I click all of my other unwanted columns. Just simply highlight all of them. And then you can right click and delete. And there's my nice clean data. Now before I save it, I'm going to rename this sheet. I'm going to just call it ACS POV. And now I'm going to go to File, Save As. You want to save it to the folder you want to save things to. So navigate to your folder. And let's call it ACS POV. And one of the things you want to do is save as Excel 97 2003 workbook. This is a much friendlier version for uh, GIS. And go ahead and hit Save. Now I can go back to my zip file and open up my other data. I'm also going to open up its metadata. And again, to view them side by side, click on View Side by Side. Because I have two other files open now, I have to tell it which one I want to use. So that one. And here's data that allows me to disaggregate race and ethnicity. So I can look at white non-Hispanic, black non-Hispanic, and then Hispanic, and so on. Um, so I want to go ahead and clean up this, this data um, quickly. So here you can see I've narrowed down my data to the particular variables I wanted. Total population, the number who are white non-Hispanic, black non-Hispanic, Asian non-Hispanic, and Latino. So I'm going to go ahead and close this metadata. No need to save. Now, I don't actually, I could save this as its own um, data set. The other thing I can simply do, is let me just copy all of this. Copy. And then I'm going to open up my previously saved poverty data. Put the cursor over here, right click, and paste. And what you'll notice is that the data are in the same order because they were downloaded at the same time. So I don't actually need this join ID anymore. I can delete that. And that's how I can sort of clean up separate variables at a time and then merge them into a single uh, data set. I may want to change the sheet, call it ACS demo for demographics, and then go to File, Save As. Again, 9703 workbook. Let's call this ACS Dem and hit Save. Now you'll want to close the Excel file because you can't bring in an Excel file or an Excel file sheet into GIS when it's open in another program. So that's how you download census data. Now one of the things you can keep in mind again is that you can download census data that's aggregated to other kinds of geographies. You can download data that's been aggregated at the county level, state level, and so on. In the next video, I'll show you how we can take this data, bring it into GIS, and actually join it to our shapefile.